All right, here we are at Middlebury, and uh, Jenna uh, was kind enough to uh, demonstrate uh, a not-so-good finish that we all can learn from. Here she's coming in. Looks to have a pretty good tuck towards the finish. Uh, it's dead ahead, and she drops into a, a non-aerodynamic tuck, and that's not what we want to do. So she had a nice tuck going in. Uh, Should have just kept it, but... She drops the hands down to almost the ground. Now the poles are going up in the air. And it uh, looks, like um, looks like she dropped her head. I'm, I'm assuming she dropped her head down too. But just keep the aerodynamic tuck. Uh, we want to try to get the skis as flat as we can. Um, heading into the finish. Uh, if you get towards the finish and you, know, you can drop one hand right at the line. Uh, Drop it a little bit uh, down and forward to break the electric uh, eye, but otherwise, just tuck on through. Uh, um, I don't think she really knows where she is right now because she dropped the head. So, unfortunately, she stands up and finished her run before the finish. So, make sure we always uh, uh, tuck all the way through. Or if we're skating, skate all the way through. Like I said, you can drop a hand down to the last second, try to make the wand. But uh, I've seen other kids try to stand up and flick the ski poles forward. That doesn't work. Just push hard all the way past the line. Tuck all the way past the line. Drop a hand if you want. But we have to have a strong finish.